Uh, good morning. My name is Tom McNamara. I'm here at the Pierce Manufacturing Plant here in Grand Chute, Wisconsin. And uh, today we're doing a final inspection on our engine companies two and eight. And uh, as we're standing next to engine two, uh, we'll be doing that final inspection next. And as we move forward, we can uh, give you a tour of the apparatus. So Elizabeth, uh, just to give you a little uh, background, Elizabeth is the fourth largest city in the state of New Jersey. We uh, respond to approximately 22,000 runs a year, uh, both uh, fire-based EMS and fire calls. We have seven uh, stations, uh, seven engine companies, three ladders, a heavy rescue, and uh, like I said, we do uh, EMS transport. Uh, this should be, with these, the addition of these two apparatus, this is our seventh, uh, seven and number eight rigs from manufactured by Pierce. And, Right now, we're pretty happy with uh, the final product that we're getting from Pierce Manufacturing. Uh, you can see here, we went with the Arrow XT. Uh, we're standardizing our fleet, and uh, this is all uh, makes our repair and maintenance uh, easy for our repair shop. And again, uh, we have some older firehouses. We went with the Arrow XT because of the narrowness of the doors, and uh, our uh, members like the way they handle. Uh, the pump panel, and as we move forward back, uh, the apparatus is just uh, easy to use for our members. All the apparatus are pretty much standard. Uh, we do have some options uh, based on the response area of the, uh, the firehouses that we have. Uh, engine 2 here is we first do to the New Jersey Turnpike, which is actually Route 95 that runs north to south uh, throughout the East Coast. And uh, we have car fires here, so we had a uh, bigger water tank installed, a bigger foam tank uh, for fire suppression on the turnpike. Uh, the cabs are very easy to use, uh, standardized latches, so everything we have is for the comfort of the men. Uh, gloved hands, we, uh, on this model and uh, engine company eight, we we're able to extend the step out when the uh, firefighters are wearing their uh, bunker gear. It just makes uh, with the boots a little easier to get in and out of the apparatus. As you can see, we went with uh, some of the complaints we had was that the engine company, uh, the engine cowl and everything was tightening up the, uh, the front of the apparatus. So we went with air ride seats to give the, uh, the driver and the officer a little more uh, elbow room, as you can see. Pretty much everything is all standardized from all our warning lights to our muck system and everything. So if we have detailed firefighters, the, the driving uh, is going to be the same, whether you're in the aerial or you're in a pumper. Everything is standardized for, for that operation. But uh, again, we have uh, you know, little safety items. We put a reflective strip on the doors just so when they're exiting the door, the drivers can actually see that the door is open, especially at night. So again, it just uh, they're uh, designed for the comfort of the firefighters and ease of the firefighters that we're, we have. As you can see, we have a decal here uh, in memory of uh, one of our firefighters who died in the line of duty, Gary Stevens. Uh, he was assigned to Engine Company 2, so they wanted to try to memorialize uh, Gary, so they uh, had a decal uh, we incorporated into the uh, design of the rig. <clears throat> we went with our uh, rubber fenderettes uh, versus the stainless steel. Uh, we found over the years tight quarters, uh, narrow streets, uh, the rubber's a little bit more forgiving. So it just makes uh, life a lot easier for us, uh, you know, less uh, repair work that we need to do. Uh, we're missing our decal, that's coming down. They're gonna be putting that on later. But again, warning lights all around uh, for visibility so we can see. And then as we move uh, to the rear of the apparatus, we designed our uh, pump panel uh, starting from uh, the first Matty Dale section all the way back. So everything is all standardized throughout our department and each hose has a corresponding lever to make it easier for the drivers and uh, as they go through, we uh, if we have to charge lines. Bigger gauges helps uh, the drivers or the engineers see at night uh, their, their pressures. All the, everything is color coded, just makes life easier for us. The bigger uh, hand lines, we have our, we went with a wheel type uh, valve. So this way it's, it's a little, little easier to control and, and operate it. And the bigger lines reduce pressure. So it just makes it a little easier to open and close. But again, it's just all simple. We have our, uh, 
our deck gun up on top. We went with the high, the high riser. It's just, uh, it tucks in nice. It keeps the overall height of the apparatus down and just makes uh, it a nice looking uh, fit for up on top. We put in, we incorporated some steps uh, for, so we can get up if we have to pack hose or make our way up to the, operate up in the deck gun area. Uh, just makes it a little safer for the, uh, the men to ride in. And as we go through, you know, we have our striping on reflective striping just for our cabinets. And it just, we just followed all the way around and uh, that's our markings. Compartment wise, we went with the uh, roll up compartments. Our streets are very narrow. The firehouses are narrow. So having doors that swing out, uh, it just doesn't work for us that much anymore. These doors would really come out far. So we're able to incorporate the roll ups and then we have our shelving with our pegboard so we can put all our fittings and uh, adapters that we have uh, in an organized uh, fashion instead of just throwing them into the compartments. Uh, this allows us, the bigger compartment allows us to have some extra hose. Our driver's uh, personal protective equipment will be in here. Uh, we have cooler, a water cooler for uh, rehab for firefighters. So we're able to incorporate that all throughout the apparatus. When we were designing these apparatus, uh, we put the users involved, the, the men that operate the trucks. We took all their ideas and we were able to try to incorporate them uh, into what works and what doesn't work. Uh, back in the early 80s, you know, an apparatus would come in and that's all we, you know, that's what you were given. Now we've incorporated where we have uh, apparatus committees to help us uh, design the apparatus. And really works out well. We get a lot of company pride and it just, it just makes it a lot better deal for everybody less complaints from the men, so it's, it's a good thing. But again, our, uh, we incorporate, we used up a lot of all, you know, all the dead space that we normally used to have. Right here, we've got to store two fire extinguishers and an oxygen, a regular uh, medical oxygen bottle. And it's, uh, you know, pretty good access for us. So we use dead space uh, for that. Again, another nice roll up compartment. A lot of our bigger items, longer items, we'll have up here our foam play pipes or, and such, or fire booms, long, uh, long tools that we have. And again, we can just mount them, put them anywhere we want to have it. Again, <clears throat> now we have in here, we incorporated now, we have our diesel fuel and our, def, uh, our diesel exhaust fluid. So they've used that dead space to put the diesel uh, fill in and the, the def. And again, as we move back, just again, we have more of our more compartment space, you know, for a lot of the other equipment that we have, speedy dry. Uh, Engine 2 uh, responds to the New Jersey Turnpike. They get a lot of spills, so they'll carry uh, quite a bit of uh, speedy dry on the apparatus. Hand tools, again, uh, warning cones that we put out at accident scenes. So, Again, we just took the ideas from the uh, firefighters and were able to incorporate it into the rig. We have adjustable shelves, so based on if we have any taller items, we can move them up and down. And as we move to the back, we designed our, we kind of changed our design back here to make all our hose beds flat. We lowered our hose beds to make it a little more uh, uh, accessible to the members. Uh, we incorporated a rear step for our longboard, pike poles, and uh, you know our step ladder that we have up there. We have a little uh, attic ladder. But we do carry uh, two inch and three quarter pre-connects in the rear, a two and a half uh, pre-connect, and then we go with our five, a thousand foot of five inch feeder, and then we have additional three inch hose uh, that we carry in the back. We have a, a large diameter uh, discharge in the back. Uh, to supply, you know, an aerial if we have to, or some uh, large caliber streams. In the back here, uh, all our pumpers in the city, they all carry uh, portable generators. So we have a slide out tray. We'll have the generator on here with the, all the associated uh, adapters and extra lights. And we're able to, you know, run, bring the generator out. It could run, it could run out here, or we could take the generator and walk to a scene where we have it. So it just makes it a little more easier on the back if we have to lift it out instead of reaching into a cabinet and you know lifting out maybe a hundred pound generator. But again, uh, we had to, it's really uh, designed really well 
And this is all kudos to the, the firefighters when they helped us design the apparatus. And as we move around to the, uh, the, the officer side of the apparatus, again, all our new apparatus in the city. Uh, this is where we keep our uh, high rise and uh, apartment packs uh, for you know, high rise fires. We're having fabricated uh, by Pierce. Uh, it's a hangers that will hang on this pegboard and we're able to hang our uh, apartment packs over it very neatly. The guys can come in, throw it on your shoulder and walk away compared to the old days where it was stuffed into a compartment or it was on one of these higher ones where you had to reach up and grab it. This just makes it a lot easier. You could swing in and come right out. And then we have adjustable shelves in here. Uh, it's out getting uh, a little work done on it, but uh, you know we'll have it in here up on the top. Again, another longer compartment on this side, just for some of our bigger, uh, longer equipment again, more storage for us. Uh, historically in the fire department, we don't seem to get rid of a lot of uh, old adapters, but now with the newer apparatus, we're able to uh, get rid of some of the antiquated stuff that we don't use anymore. But on this side here, we have uh, storage for six spare SCBA bottles. And that gives us, you know, uh, plenty again storage room where before we would have to keep them up in the compartments. We use dead space on the apparatus to, um, you know, use every usable space. Historically, over time, we never uh, put diamond plate over our wheel wells. But the harsh winters that we have up on the East Coast, uh, we notice that if we put chains on the apparatus, they break, they come around, they, they cause a lot of damage. So now we're putting a diamond plate on the, uh, the exterior apparatus, hopefully that you know, it just avoids scratching and, and ruining the paint. But again, well-constructed compartments. The doors are real heavy. Uh, they're not flimsy, so it's really uh, good for us. Uh, this is what is going to be for a lot of our medical uh, equipment that we have, we have a uh, regular 110 outlet in here. Uh, we can charge our, keep our defibrillator, our suction units all on charge. And again, majority of all our uh, first aid equipment will be in, in here. A newer, uh, unique uh, device that we incorporated in our last couple of pumpers, we put the Zyco ladder racks up. The engine companies don't uh, normally use their ladders a lot, so we put them up high with a, uh, this lowers automatically through an electric switch, and it'll bring the ladders down that we can uh, take them off and then put them back up. Has a safety feature in that if a door, a compartment's open, it won't let the ladder down. We can't move the truck if the ladders are down, the rack is down. So just another built-in safety feature that uh, we were able to incorporate in the apparatus. And then as we move forward, on this side, we have the, uh, the officer's pump panel, and more or less we have a two and a half discharge, a large intake on this side, and we also have a large diameter discharge on this side here, just so we have a little versatility with the apparatus. And we have a little bit better drainage now. The drains are a lot easier to use. They're up uh, higher now than compared to when we had them on the, the older apparatus. They were low. They'd always get uh, gunked up, and we had hard times using uh, with the drains. Uh, we incorporated a, uh, we carry one inch uh, a wild land hose, and then what we do, it's not, it's not pre-piped, but what we do, it's flat hose, and it just rolls up on a reel up on top. We'll pull out enough that we have, and then we'll hook it up to our discharge over here, and that will allow us to use 100 feet of one inch hose for uh, brush fires or small, small debris or if we have a, a fire and we want to wash down uh, like a little uh, debris that's outside, we can stretch that hose there. Again, on both sides of the apparatus, we have a compartment here. We're going to put uh, a uh, water extinguisher on both sides. Uh, this way, we use those quite a bit and uh, just gives us a little more storage. And then our cab. The interior, we designed it for a six-man six -man cab. Uh, standard, we usually ride four men on, a, on an apparatus, just gives us a little bit more uh, room for the men. Uh, we have two cabinets inside for, for our meters, hand lights, 
uh, personal stuff, extra uh, gloves and gear that the, the firefighters may have. Uh, let me just get inside and we'll explain a little that we have here. On the deck, on the engine cowl, we're going to have our thermal imaging camera, uh, a lot of our map box and everything that the company officer and the men in here need readily available. We're going to have portable hand light chargers here for their uh, personal flashlights. We have uh, holders for their, uh, their helmets or we could put, they could put them in the cabinets. So we have, uh, we incorporate a lot of room for the firefighters. They could put their gear underneath, tuck them underneath these cabinets, but it just gives them a whole new uh, perspective. They can either sit riding backwards or facing forward, and they could actually see what's going on, have conversation with the captain, and then, or the driver, whatever we, they need to talk about on the way. Uh, we have air conditioning uh, for the comfort of the men. And, uh, you know, over the years, you know, we've, uh, they've made improvements to the air conditioning systems. When I came on, we didn't have air conditioning in any rigs. So it's uh, a little bit more uh, comfort for the, for the men. Uh, they get, like I said, a lot of room, and it's just about, you know, this is what they wanted, they needed in their cab, and it just makes the life a lot easier for us. But, uh, again, when we come out of the cab, we normally, with the boots and all their gear, you know, we have our handles, we extended these out, our steps out a little bit, just makes it a lot easier when you're coming down with, your, with our boots. And same with the officer's seat, biggest complaint is that the officer doesn't have a lot of room. Uh, we always, historically, we always had a fixed seat. Now we have an air ride seat, which will, which raises him up a little bit, gives him a little bit more room for his elbows, and he's not confined between the door and the engine compartment. He has access to all the warning devices that we have up on in, in top, the lights. He also has a siren, siren brake, air horn, and, uh, We'll have a, a spot here for our mobile data terminal, MDT, uh, right in front of him. Some of our other apparatus had it in between the captain and driver, and it really wasn't uh, usable from both. Uh, so we put it over here. This way it gives the driver a lot more vision because uh, it's down lower, and he, you know, they could keep it where it's not as bright and doesn't distract him from uh, his driving, especially at night. And that's pretty much uh, it with engine two. Our engine eight that's uh, being uh, given the final uh, inspection now is identical, uh, sister rigs. And uh, we can't wait to get them back into town and get them loaded up with the hose so they get the new uh, apparatus going. And that's all I have for the uh, walk around for you.